Hey, Seth David here with an update for Tuesday, August 2nd, 2016. Here is what's going on. Yesterday, Intuit published something for me on the Intuit Accountant's blog. 21 proven time management tips for busy accountants. Don't forget to scroll to the bottom and you'll see the video of me going through each of the 21 tips and talking about it and where it comes from and what it's really all about. So do check that out at blog.accountants.intuit.com. And of course, I'll provide the link wherever you may happen to be watching this, listening to it, soaking it in, absorbing it as you get ready for an amazing day with an incredible hustle. Uh, next up, I've been spending a little more time lately in Google Keep. Google Keep is kind of like your digital sticky notes with a lot of really sort of hidden beneath the surface kind of robust tools, right? I just actually finished taking care of this one today. These are sticky notes. You can't do a whole lot of formatting with them. Um, you know, you can put in a title and you can put in some details and you, there are different types. You can do a checklist or you can do a basic text note. Uh, you can add reminders and as you probably already started to figure out, you can color code them. You can add an image and, and then of course you can archive them. Now the reminders are actually really cool here because you can do a geolocation based reminder so that when you have the app on your mobile device and you're near that location, the reminder will show up. So I use that to remind myself to pick up my mail when I'm near the UPS store, which is where all my mail goes. Now, one of the challenges I'd had with this is, you know, um, sort of, it's, I can. St how do I use the colors, right? Um, is there any kind of rhyme or reason or magic to how the colors are used? And what I did was I created a label here called color coding, so I could define very specifically exactly how I'm using the colors. So, and if need be, if I really, you know, if I find it's troublesome to click back and forth between, you know, like the ideas label and the color coding to see what's what, then I can certainly duplicate the tab and leave one on the color coding and then come back over here. And what's kind of cool now is if I'm just looking at the global notes, which shows me everything, I can go in here to the search. And if I have the color coding high priority is red, under the search, I can go down here and filter all of my notes by everything that's marked high priority, regardless of what the labels are. On the left are the labels, which can be assigned to the notes, and you can assign notes to multiple labels, which is kind of cool. So here's all the high priority stuff that I've identified that uh, needs to get done. And uh, that is pretty much a, a good minute or so on, on how I'm using Google Keep. So I'm, but I'm really enjoying this. I'm finding that this is useful for those things. Not everything needs to be in Evernote or needs to be in a project management app. Some things are just simple reminders that I need to, you know, be reminded of. <laughs> Funny how that works. And that's how I'm using Google Keep. And it's Google Keep is good for the simple stuff where I don't need a whole lot of details and information. And sometimes, frankly, I'll create a note in Google Keep or a sticky note in Google Keep that reminds me of something I need to do over in Active Collab. Active Collab is what I use for the big picture project management stuff. And you know, here it's like a whole bunch of to-do lists within a big to-do list. And of course, then I rely on the reporting. I go into tasks and Here's my task due by project report, so I can rem remember by project, you know, what has either been due before today or is due today. And you can customize these reports. That's just how I like to roll. And that, my friends, is, I think, pretty good for your update for August 2nd, 2016. Do check out Google Keep. I actually mentioned Google Keep in the article here on the Intuit Accountants blog that I mentioned to you a couple minutes ago on 21 proven time management tips for busy accountants.